Hi guys, it's Mrs. B. I'm Mr. R. Hi guys. Wow, it's so good to see you. We are back and we're riding and rolling in carpool Sunday school. And today we're going to go on the Ten Commandments ride that we've been going on so far. And let's just go quickly over our Ten Commandments. So the first one and the most important one is you shall have no other gods besides God. Nobody else. He's supposed to be your first and your only. Number two is that you shall not make any idols. And it kind of goes with number one. That means that you're not going to worship anything else besides God. And that can be uh, video games. That can be your favorite toy. Nothing should come in the place of God. And number three, you shall speak God's name with respect. That means when we're using God's name or we're talking about Jesus, we're always using that name with respect. We're not using it as a joke or using it in commonplace. We're, when we're talking about God or talking about Jesus or if we're praying, we use it then. But we don't just use God's name frivolously. And then number four is that you're going to set aside a day and keep it holy. That day you're going to give it back to the Lord and it's like a sacrifice. So you take that day and you give it back to God and, and we we use Sunday because that's the day that God uh, sent Jesus here and he was crucified and he died and he was resurrected on the third day. So that day, Sunday, is the day that we set aside. Uh, but it can be any day. But that's the one that we use so we can get together. And it also has um, the one that we're on last week was uh, honor your father and mother that your days will be long upon the earth. God has said us um, two people over you. Um, so there's God, that's the highest. And then there's going to be your mom and dad. And you're supposed to always honor them. No matter how old you get, you always honor your mom and dad because that's the way God has given us. Now we're into the next one. And now we're into number six. Can you believe we went so far? So before I talked about the first four were it's our relationship with God, remember? And now it's our relationship with others. So you saw how it changed. Now our relationship with God, keeping God first, and our relationship with others. Well, the first one that he talks about with others is our parents because those are the first ones you'll ever know. The first people that you meet is your parents. So that's your relationship with others. The next thing after your relationship with your mom and dad, who else is there? Your friends and the people that you meet. And how you have that relationship is important about the next commandments after that because it all works together. It's all about our heart, remember? And our heart working with God and our heart with others. So the next commandment is you shall not kill or commit murder. So what does that mean? So if some, if you kill someone, that is against the law, number one, but it's also against God's law. And a lot of times we see video games and, and people are getting shot and it just seems like it's a game. It's not like really important, but God wants us to know that murder is very important because it's about the heart, the heart. So if you hate someone or and, and you have anger or hate in your heart. That's why God said, even if you hate someone, it's murder to him. Whether you touch them or you hurt them in a physical way or not, if you hate someone in your heart, that's the same as murder. And so in that respect, if we have hate in our heart and that is why uh, there's murder, that's why when we play all these games, it almost makes it like it's not really important, human life. Um, when we're playing those games. And so we really should be careful with that God loves all of us and every human life is important and it, we should respect it and honor it. So how about when we get mad at somebody, we just forgive them. Yeah, of course. That sounds good. That sounds good, right? So if we forgive each other, if we love each other, I'm never going to hate you. I'm definitely not going to hate you to want you to not be here anymore, right? So I will never want to do that. So if we concentrate... Oh, what's going on? He's right? He said... He doesn't... You 
don't want to hate anybody, do you? No, why? Because hating is bad, right? Right, you should love everyone, right? Love and not what? Not hate, no. Mm -mm. Because hate can lead to bad things, right? Like murder, right? And so we don't ever want that. So if we love one another and you love everyone, you're never going to want to hate anybody and you're never going to want to commit murder, right? So that would never happen. So a lot of times with these video games, we just got to be careful that we understand that that is not a game. In real life, it's really a bad thing and it's against what God wants. And remember Cain and Abel. The remember the reason why why Cain killed Abel is because he started to hate him in his heart. He started to resent him and he started to hate him and it built up and God admonished him and he said to him, he was like, what are you doing? If you would do right, everything would be okay. But you're holding this grudge and this hate and this resentment in your heart and it built up and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And before you know it, he did something really bad. So we don't want to do that, right? So remember, love like God loves. And if we love God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul, we're going to love each other and our neighbor as our friend, right? We're going to love them as we love ourselves. So we love you guys. We love you guys. <laughs> remember to love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, every day, every week. Please do. <laughs> okay, bye guys. We be love safe. you. Have a good one. Be, be kind to everybody. <laughs>